the HVY Night Shark. 1,245,000 from Warstock Cash and Carry. It is a front engine, all wheel drive, four door armored military assault transport. It seats four, has great acceleration and handling, and good top speed. It was released with the gun running DLC and made its first appearance in the MOC mission Exit Strategy. It also makes an appearance in the Doomsday Heist DLC as the vehicle of choice for Bogdan's agents. The vehicle is in the off road class, but cannot be used in any races. You can upgrade it in the Paint and Spray Office or MOC Avenger. Window platings offer great bullet protection from the front and rear, but do not protect the sides at all. They also prevent anyone from utilizing drive-by weapons and throwables. Headlight and taillight guards are available. Three exhaust options. Fine-tune your personalization with ten different grills. Extend your individuality with a selection of armored hood options. I recommend the level 3 with the lower front windshield armored visor, which does offer bullet protection. An attractive selection of liveries can be applied if you have completed the bunker research involved. As an off-road vehicle, it does not have especially high ground clearance by default but does have options to lower it even further. The windows in this vehicle are not bullet resistant, so it may make sense to apply tint. The rival to this vehicle is the classic Insurgent. I'd like to apply some comparisons to that vehicle set. Here they are side by side. You can see that the Night Shark is a little bit smaller. And although I thought the Insurgent wouldn't make it through, it did. Not so for the Custom Insurgent. If you ever have trouble getting into the back of a vehicle, join a CEO first, then hold down triangle. Just like the Insurgent and the Custom Insurgent, the lights on this vehicle are very bright. This first person view does not have the window platings, but does have the lower armored visor installed. Stock mounted machine guns are not visible, even if we slow down the firing sequence. As long as window platings are not installed, both drive by and throwable weapons are available. Overall, the Night Shark has very good off-roading capabilities, including having the necessary power for most hill climbs. The only downside is that the suspension can feel somewhat stiff. Notice how off-kilter you can get. It's not really possible to deadlift a night shark using the cargo bob. You have to kind of get a running start in order to get enough lift, and then it is technically possible. Here I am dropping the night shark on the hippie colony and making a few friends. You're free to use it in all heists and contact missions.
One of the more novel uses that I've found for the Night Shark is acting as a pusher vehicle. Here you can see we're chaining up the post-op delivery vehicles for the MC cell mission, which started in Sa Sandy Shores. We're helping them up the hill, and it's a real time saver. It also makes the mission a lot more fun for the delivery drivers. Adds a cooperative element to this mission. Makes it a little bit more entertaining and at least lessens the pain of the mission. Look at this part. The post-op van is going so quickly it's difficult to catch up. really helps these missions go quicker, although it's less necessary once you get into the city. To those of you disappointed there was no sound in that last section, I've added this little trash truck delivery addendum on the end that shows you can use the Night Shark to push the trash trucks. Its low ground clearance actually assists here, allowing it to get some purchase to push on the trash truck. As you're going to see for a moment up here, when an injection tries to help as well, yeah, it kind of wheelies out. The next section of clips highlight just how durable the Night Shark is. Like the Custom Insurgent, the APC, and the Half Track, the Night Shark comes equipped with a trailer hitch that can be used to tow a friend's anti-aircraft trailer. 